an easy effect on GIMP. It's a pretty cool effect, and uh, it's already built in. Um, we ain't got to do nothing special except for make a background and lay down some text, and then go and hit in, hit a filter, and that's pretty much it. And it does the rest for you. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it now. We're gonna go ahead and go to File New, and we want to make a document that is 728 by 200. And in the advanced options, I always use uh, as a resolution 500 for my animations and just click OK and we're gonna go ahead and just reset your for, uh, foreground and background colors and just grab your paint bucket and let's fill that in with black and let's go ahead and, and make a new layer transparency and then we will want to go to our brush tools and you could use anything that you want. I'm going to go ahead and use um, kind of like a blood splatter brush. And we'll just go ahead and just, I don't know, just, oops, and you want to set the color to, the, to a color you could actually see. Sorry about that. I'm going to do a solid red. And then just go ahead and, like I said, click and put it down there somewhere. And then we're going to go ahead and go to um, the filters. And which one do we want? We want to go to the light and shadow. And then go down to Zach effect. And that's all fine. Um, the highlight opacity I turned up a little bit to 84. And then the drop shadow blur I turned up to 16. Everything else is default and fine. And we'll just hit OK. And you're going to notice that the white is over the the red. So we just go to select none. And we don't need the drop shadow. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that layer. And we're going to go ahead and, and put this layer below the red layer. So drop it below. And then we grab our move tool. And you could move it to wherever you would like. I'm going to go ahead and I guess move it, I don't know, about up here about like that. And then we'll just go ahead and merge this down. And then merge it down again to your background layer. And we'll just go and we're going to get a font and select a color for the font. I'm going to use this kind of reddish color. And it is 5 zero 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 press ok and the font that I'm using is called Okasana Sun Sans Serif you can find it on defont.com it's a free font you can download and we're just gonna go ahead and I don't know like that and I'll just type in I don't know hey or we'll do hello and grab our move tool and place it I don't know wherever you want we could place the hello I guess right there and then we're gonna go ahead and grab the <coughs> font tool again and just spread out another little box and we're gonna type YouTube and grab your move tool again and you can place that, I don't know, right there. And you know what, I'm going to move this hello font. Make sure that you have move active layer selected. I'm just going to place that maybe right there. More towards the middle. And then we're going to go up here to filters, animation, and let's see, we're just going to hit blend. And I'm going to set this to 30 frames with a max blur radius of 3 looped checked and just hit OK and let the filter work it might take it just a little while depending on how fast your computer is and then if you just go up here to filters animation playback and then hit the play button and there you go.
it blurs in and out for you and I set the frame rate kinda high to 30 frames and it just slows it down a little bit you could do 25, 25 is just fine it moves faster, the lower you go the faster it's gonna get and that's that's as simple as that and it blurs in you didn't have to do nothing I hope you like this tutorial have a good day and thank you